Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhere Bagga and let's solve some puzzles today. Let's let's try to make our basics more strong. Okay, uh, so the idea here can be to take the knight with the bishop. Can be to take queen. Pawn takes and then maybe pawn forward. That would lose the knight and then we'll have two bishops I think for uh, a lone rook and yeah, that should be fine so i'll take here and then play upon forward this pins the knight and i win the puzzle here okay so next one once my knight moves there's a discovered attack on the queen but the queen is defended so there's no such threat there uh i can take the knight here Open can take back. Then a sacrifice might work. And then queen can hop in. Things can work around like this. Anyway, the bishop is under attack otherwise. So I'll have to use my pieces here. Pinning the knight doesn't make sense because after knight takes, the bishop would be hanging. Um what else we have got here do i have any other better move i i don't see anything more than this maybe right now so i'll take the knight to begin with yes that works out now maybe bishop takes is one option that gives a check as well and then queen is also going to go and join the action so i'll take the pawn no okay that didn't work out uh what was the solution here queen to d3 trying to retain on this and that's a battery which would go for a checkmate and if you try to save the checkmate by moving pawn forward say g6 can be played here and then you can take on the knight yeah this was the right solution just trying to maneuver your queen to a better square than going for a greek's gift Greek god gift as it, as it said okay uh, so I think queen takes knight is my first instinct here because opponent is going for a checkmate and if I take again that's a checkmate coming from h8 or at least I lose a rook so I have to go for the aggressive attack here which begins with queen takes on knight pushing my opponent backwards uh, now I have to be careful which way i give a check because knight is defending e4 so a check like this won't help uh of course if i take with the knight that also doesn't help me do i have any other move taking again is a bad option uh what else can we do here knight takes doesn't make sense because again this would be okay so i think i can take the pawn and that defends a checkmate threat yeah this this solves most likely yep this is fine let's go to the next one um okay so this pawn is weak both my knights are connected so rook takes the uh, pawn gives a check my opponent can go only here because this will be controlled with the rook open cannot go here and this is also guarded with the knight so d2 is protected only square remaining would be for king to go to e2 and after our rook is here and king is on e2 i think what's the fall off from there I see a follow up right away, but I think I should go ahead with this to begin with. Okay, so you might not see the follow up moves every time, but you can at least begin that process. Rook takes, bishop is one option, but then knight takes, and then don't again see a good move from there on. Um. Okay, maybe I can give a check from here. 
In fact, that's checkmate because pawn protects the rook as well. Uh, like, okay, open had one square. And now probably I can hop in with the knight maybe or give a check again and take the knight. Yeah, check a knight or makes more sense. Yeah, this is fine. Cool. Um, next one. Uh, queen takes this is going to be bad. So not an option. Um, bishop takes bishop is one option, but that's more of kind of an exchange that doesn't win me a game. Puzzles are more or less about winning the situation. Uh, what is more compelling move here, which forces my opponent into a loss eventually? Queen over to h4 doesn't do anything. Uh, what if I take first and then maybe I can give a check from the diagonal? And then open can, of course, go back. What is the significant thing that I might be able to do from there? Uh, again, my queen cannot go on this diagonal anywhere. The pawn is being attacked twice and defended twice. So that should not be the case. And if bishop takes, then rook takes. So it's a decent position to be in, but then how to utilize it more is the question. I think I need to take this bishop. Yeah, that works at least for now. Now I think the next move should be a check with the queen. Uh, I don't see any in the move right now. Maybe rook takes pawn. And then opponent can take with the king and then I can give a check, but then opponent will have escapes eventually. I think I should go with a check. Yeah. And this means I'm threatening a kind of checkmate here eventually. So maybe a rook lift should solve the purpose. I think so. Because pawn forward cannot be played. I can take. Bishop takes again is something which is a bad sacrifice, I think. Or maybe it's a good sacrifice. Because then pawn takes and I win a rook. Uh, might work out. Yep. Because now pawn cannot take. If pawn takes... You take and that's a check and rook goes. Yep. Okay, let's proceed. So today the farm is touch wood. Going fine so far. Uh, okay, same pieces there. Extra pawn with the black side, I would say. One extra pawn. But position wise now we have to take advantage. And follow up with a lot of checks eventually. Um... How do we begin? Queen check from here. Open can come here and then I can get my rook in between and then maybe take the queen. I think that should be it. Uh, yes, this looks fine. Yeah, that was simple one. Okay, next. Um, discover attack is there. So I can just sidestep with my bishop and that's a check and I can take rook against a bishop that is one option which i see straightforward uh what other thing do we have is do we have anything else i doubt queen here in a normal game i would have tried to attack the pawn as well eventually um this check makes a lot of a lot of sense i think i should do it yeah that's a check um, now I think taking is a good option. Or do we have something else? Add out. No? Okay. What was the solution? What? Oh, then my opponent has to take. There's no other option. And then queen hops in. 
has to move now and then I go down and then there's only one move and that's checkmate. Okay, that was good. Okay, so if I can deflect my open screen, then I can have a checkmate. I can have a checkmate here as well with the other knight. And when knights are around, there has to be some folk in the gameplay. Uh, maybe I just go back and pressurize this further. Can be a move. Um, what else is there? Queen goes here, opponent takes, I take, I lose. Extra piece. So this is a place actually which belongs to a knight eventually so that I get to have a folk. Now for that to happen, I need to make sure one of my knights is, is on maybe d3 to eventually land here. So knight can impact in such a way. But then this knight is again troublesome right now. Maybe I just move the knight. Um, do we have queen exchange possible? That doesn't help. This is a tricky one, I think. Maybe it's simple and I'm not able to see it. Maybe pawn forward. How is pawn forward? My opponent can say take this or maybe double up on my knight. And I can push the pawn forward where my opponent can take and there's no such pressure thereafter. So that doesn't work. Okay, what else can work here? Knight here just, I don't know. Knight here and then what am I doing next? Maybe getting ahead with the other knight? Knight, opponent takes. I think I have to go here, I'm not sure. No, that's wrong. Knight takes and now my opponent can take. If it does, then okay, I can have a folk. And then win a rook. What's better? Best move is knight check, okay. That is because you cannot move the king. And then queen falls apart and then it's against rook and a bishop and you will definitely trap the rook at least and then win from there. Okay, next one. Here I have the white pieces. I can certainly take, but then the pawn moves forward. I go to defend it and my opponent can sneak in overall and then take my pawns as well. Uh, but what option I have? If I don't take it, my opponent takes it and I lose the momentum even if I go down. My opponent will get to have center pawns. So rather I think I should take it here. And now I have to be careful which pawn break I am looking forward at. Um, I don't want my opponent to come on these two squares. This is guarded with the pawn. This is guarded with the king. Open cannot come here, cannot come here. So all this is boxed out. What if I play pawn forward? My opponent might play pawn forward and this will be a close structure. And then I can start pushing the other pawn and once pawn takes, I can take back and then promote. Because if I go down to defend this thing, then my opponent is also coming down and then yeah, that's a rook pawn that can be defended, but then open can take e4 eventually. And if I play pawn forward here, and my opponent does take, I take back, then king goes there, and again, I lose the pawn eventually. So I think, uh, is, is c4 a move here? I think c4 is a move here. Let open think in the tension and then proceed with this and eventually take and don't touch the situation. Yep. C4 was winning. Now the best move for the open is to play pawn forward here. And as soon as that happens, you can take or you can proceed as well. If you proceed and open decides to take, which will have to happen. Now 
you are pushing for the spawn forward in the end game and to prevent that my opponent has to be in the square which he's not so would not be able to stop whose turn it is actually it's black turn so he will get into, into the box into the square right now but then i get to eat this pawn and then eventually the other one as well and it's a pawn majority so i can win okay uh straight away rook takes rook is one option and then bishop takes after queen takes maybe or uh, or maybe i should just take um the yeah i should take um this with the queen and the rook as well open can take the rook i can first take this rook then take the other how am i saving the checkmate if queen takes then is there a way to save checkmate maybe i can just let him take this rook because i am saving it so queen okay let's redefine the order that was a bit more to digest for now okay i think uh, bishop takes bishop is one option but why take that because again it is attacking both the rooks if rook takes i take the other rook and if rook takes i take with the bishop yeah this looks okay to me no queen takes is the best move yeah and then you can first give check and then after opponent does stop you can take the knight as well opponent goes up and you don't need to bother about the rook because this is guarded so you can take another bishop so you basically emptied everything there now if rook takes rook you can take back with the bishop and yes there can be a pin but it doesn't work out in such a way everything is solid here need to save the bishop and actually give a check as well this would lose as i can take with the queen i can give take with the bishop as well anything is fine it's made itself from here okay what have we got here uh two pieces attacking it but of course if i take with the knight suddenly queen comes here should not be bothering me looks like kind of a decent move still to me i should take with the knight okay now knight is being attacked twice has to be defended uh what move i have got here what is the move here now i can give a check and then open and does take the knight but that doesn't win me anything to win this situation i need extra defender maybe to the knight or knight in a square which attacks the queen or something else which attacks the queen bishop cannot defend of course rook can attack the queen but then if queen takes i take i think material wise we are equal so not an advantage there has to be a move which gives me a decent advantage as well okay let's try and find out we there's no time limit here bishop is spinning this pawn but i'm not gaining anything out of it right now um check again is not helping because oh wait what if i first give a check my opponent takes with the rook uh then i can sack the knight and take the rook so i'm losing two pieces might work out i'm not sure mm, knight gives the check first doesn't win at all bishop is the only piece which can give a check right now and if my opponent tries to move somewhere then what then both my pieces are hanging and i'm not defending either uh but i think taking with the bishop should be the only move otherwise my queen goes and if i move the queen my knight goes mm. let's try no okay 
bishop here how is it saving i'm just wondering because if opponent does take here oh opponent cannot take the bishop because that's a fork coming which loses the queen or i can just save my queen as well first giving a check and now he has to save with something which would be a pawn or moving the king back and then you can take the queen okay miss that part that knight was guarding it okay um next is this one knight is defending so i cannot give a check from here um bishop is controlling the squares i certainly cannot get my uh, rook here because bishop controls i cannot get it here and of course next threat is going to be rook here so lots of threats happening maybe i can just give a check and then take on the bishop or maybe i just take this first and then give a check does that check win me actually that check wins me because it's it's checkmate bishop is controlling the diagonal and knight would control this and a check so that would be winning if i take my opponent cannot take back with the knight so rook takes is the best option here and then i can take the other rook that's winning okay next one so i can take the queen my opponent also can take the queen and then i can take the rook my opponent can also take the rook and then i will have to take the knight and he takes my rook so that's not winning either way uh what else i can do is take this uh, which would open up the floodgates as well maybe i can take this pawn with the queen and then take back with the knight so that my bishop is also defended hmm, that looks one good option uh what else is there if i take this only with the bishop then again i'm good there's no such harms happening but why not take a pawn first and giving a check as well yeah and then take back this maybe or oh, wait now i can take the queen as well yeah let's take the queen why go for the knight yeah that's fine okay this is kind of the way we can proceed but my opponent does move and then get the rook which can be tricky eventually so maybe i can go with the knight here preparing for a fork going here as well queen attacking this so many options here queen going here is problematic because my opponent can move here but maybe then i can move with the knight opponent can come here i can go here what is it let's move with the knight maybe preparing for a, a knight check from a couple of places yeah i still got a check coming i have a pawn which i can take and that would threaten checkmate as well i think queen takes pawn is the best move yeah and he has to take win the queen and that's good and easy so we solved a lot of puzzles today uh, i hope you liked it uh, do let me know your feedback keep watching and sharing do subscribe to the channel as well if you haven't already by now and i shall see you tomorrow again with some puzzle solving maybe maybe some interesting game uh let's see what what holds next tomorrow thank you so much for your time take care bye bye